Well, hey, Christian, welcome to our third episode of Energize San Antonio Face to Face. Uh, I'm Dan Eason of Energize San Antonio. And I'm Christian Guerra with Toyota of Bernie and also co host of the San Antonio Rising Stars radio show, uh, which airs Saturdays on KLUP 930 AM from 2 to 3 in the afternoon. Well, it's uh, great to have uh, you back and everybody else that's uh, viewing. I've really been uh, excited about the, uh, the response that we've been getting. Uh, you know, last week we, uh, we did some tweaks, and of course I came out pretty orange, uh, kind of disgusting, sick looking, uh, in fact. But uh, I, was, I was pleased that we had about uh, 25 people actually like the video. You know, you, you never know when you put these things out if anybody's actually watching, so it's always uh, fun to see that people are and that they're commenting. Absolutely, and we hope to have more people kind of tune in and engage with us this week and each week as we roll forward. Absolutely. Well, I want to congratulate uh, Sonia Correa uh, for winning the $20 gift certificate to Alamo Draft House. Uh, the restaurant that she uh, liked was, uh, was oh, the uh, Babe's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. Excuse me. Yeah, no, I've never been there. Place. That's a great place. I've had burgers there before. Uh, I tell you what, I give my stamp of approval. Well, good. Well, I'll have to go try it out. Well, uh, can you uh, tell us your interesting fact of the week? I sure can. It, this interesting fact has to do with our parks and trail systems here in San Antonio, which we should be proud. We have a great city, great parks and trail systems. Do you realize that we have over 68 miles of trail parks that you can ride bikes on, hike on, walk on, and that there's over 11,000 acres of land in our city dedicated to the public park systems. Yeah, that's great. I don't know if you've ever been on some of those trails, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll take my kids out there sometimes and they're spectacular. They just go on for yeah. miles and miles. Yeah, it's a good way to get outside and enjoy some free fun. Absolutely. Well, you know, you know, Fiesta is such a big part of San Antonio, so I think it's only appropriate that we give a little bit of the background of Fiesta. And nice. uh, did you know that it started in 1891 by a group of women who decorated their horse-drawn carriages uh, with flowers to and, and had a, a small parade in front of the Alamo uh, to honor the uh, the fallen of, of the Alamo and uh, the Battle of San Jacinto. And wow. of course, you know, today we know how big it is, but uh, you know, about they estimate about 3.1 million people attend all the different fiesta events that it has an impact of over $280 million on the city and that there are over 75,000 volunteers. Uh, you know, I, I bet those women never thought that it would have uh, that kind of uh, impact uh, or, or draw to the city. Yeah, and what a great addition it's been to creating a, a culture of our own here in, in San Antonio. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, okay, well, tell us about your inspirational person of the week. Absolutely. I'm very excited to talk to you about the executive director of Transplants for Children. Her name is Stacy Almger. Um, you know, she got with us. Toyota of Bernie is sponsoring Transplants for Children. We have an upcoming uh, biking event, September the 10th, that's going to start out by the El Chaparral in Holotus uh, on September 10th is a Saturday. All the money that is raised, it's a $30 entry fee for this road bike event, is going to help local kids here in San Antonio that have a need to get a transplant. Um, Stacy Almger, uh, Executive Director of Transplants for Children, she is an outstanding citizen in our city. She's helping raise money for a good cause, Transplants for Children. Uh, my hat's off this week to Stacy Almger. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm going to uh, kind of in that same vein. You know, my inspirational person and is going to be really all the kids that courageously fight, you know, the whole transplant process. Yeah. And, and so I want to honor then uh, for all of them, uh, recognize Zoe Blaylock, a five-year-old uh, who at the age or at the age of five uh, was diagnosed with a, uh, a liver disease, mm. uh, an acute liver disease. And... Uh, needed a transplant uh, very quickly, was able to, uh, to get one. The doctors saw that her liver was about 99% toast, Ugh. as they put it. And so she went through this whole process uh, just with, with a great outlook and uh, 
now she's she got that transplant. She's six years old, uh, you know, vivacious and ready to start school. So, boy, hats off to her. You know, for the for the people out there that don't know much about transplants for children, it's important to recognize the fact that there are a lot of kids and youth and teenagers in our city that are being affected by this issue. And there's not one contributing factor over another that says, well, you're gonna need a transplant. There's a lot of reasons why people need transplants. So I would encourage you to get onto their website at transplantsforchildren.com. Uh, check out more information on them about Stacy Almger and her uh, team of, of awesome, awesome community members that are doing something about it. Sure, absolutely. I mean, just we can't even, those of us that uh, haven't gone through a, you know a process like that we just can't even imagine so uh, yeah i agree uh, so well i'll tell well, you what you have a trivia question for us i do okay trivia question today which food was created in san antonio in the 18th century multiple choice uh choice a would be ice cream choice b would be enchiladas choice c is chili okay well I do know the answer to that, but I was surprised by it actually. So uh, uh, when I learned it, you know, for this uh, this episode, uh, if you know the answer to that, email us, and uh, whoever has the right answer will draw the name, and or will draw a name of all the right answers, and that person will win a ten dollar gift certificate to Cafe Salsita. All right. And also, we want to hear from you. Uh, on the uh, the comment section of the video on EnergizeSanAntonio.com, if you will tell us your favorite park in San Antonio, that's a good one. And uh, if you have the most likes on your comment, then you will win a ten dollar gift certificate to uh, uh, to El Chaparral Restaurant. All right. Any one that's of their three great, locations. Great restaurant. And that's also the starting point of the September 10th road bike event out there on Highway 16. Finally, if you have some inspirational people that you would like for us to highlight on Energized Face to Face, uh, you can email either Dan at uh, Dan at EnergizedSanAntonio.com or you can email me, Christian, Christian at EnergizedSanAntonio.com. Okay. okay. Well, Christian, great visiting with you again. Great to visit with you too, Dan. I'll see you online. All right. Sounds good. See you. Bye. Then. Bye.